Hello Church, we're looking at Job chapters 4 through 6 a day for our daily Bible reading. Here we have the first response to one of Job's friends. Uh, these friends that we're going to see don't always seem to have Job's best interests at heart or know everything that goes on, but they have their opinions and their thoughts and they convey them. And so this first friend, Eliphaz, um, in chapter 5 verse 16 talks about how God is a God of justice and that God stops injustices. He saves those who are poor and needy. And then Job responds because, well, so Eliphaz is saying that seeming to point to the finger that Job is not righteous then. If he is suffering these things is because there is sin in his life and so that's why he is suffering. So Job wraps up chapter 26 with these two verses. It says, Yield now, let there be no injustice. Yes, concede my righteousness still stands. Is there injustice on my tongue? Cannot my taste discern the unsavory? Job saying, yes, in general, God is a God of justice, or not in general, God is always a God of justice, but how it plays out, how God delivers that justice on this side of eternity sometimes takes longer than we would like and sometimes takes shapes that are different than we would like. And so Job saying, look, I did not do anything to deserve this, right? He, as we're told, he was a righteous man, yet he was dealing and suffering with these things seeming like they were injustices, but according to God's sovereign purpose, God's servant plan, Job is going through this hardship to prove that God is in control and that we need to trust him. We are to do good works. We are to seek righteousness. We are to be holy, but that doesn't mean that everything on this life will always go perfectly right, even if we do so because God has greater purposes and greater designs and plans than for us to have a comfortable life here and now. All right, church, God is a God of justice. Have a great day.